Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel if you are a returning subby. And if you're new to the channel, I welcome you. I appreciate you coming to watch and join me in another um, prepped layout in my Bible study journal, which is this that you see before you. And I wanna preface this at the beginning and say that if you're a returning subby, my girls, new to the new to the channel, if you're watching for the first time, you're gonna to wanna to listen through the video and not skip ahead to see how it looks at the end, but listen through because I wanna share some of the um, information I received in the Bible study from last week. And I, it was primarily based on the chapter Job, but let me tell you something, I saw it with new eyes. So I wanna share what I learned from it. So please listen through all the way through to the end. I promise it won't be lengthy because as you can see, this was last week. Let's just get this going. And last week I did this layout, which I thought was just so beautiful. And I love the layout. And you know, I've been loving the horizontal layout. And as you can see, I'm using up all the space. I still have some stuff to write here from what I received, but trust me, I've got it. And even though I was able to take down, you know, little um, bullet points of what I got from, from, from Job, I still want to be able to incorporate a lot of the revelation that I got from it because I was trying to put it up here, but then there's so much. And I was like, you know what? I'm in charge of what this layout looks like. So why not just take it from a week on two pages to a week on four pages? So as you can see here, I've already prepped my pages for this new week. So this is going to be the week of September 16th through the 22nd. This is going to be an additional spot to just take down some notes, but I've made enough space that I can take notes and bullet points from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And as you can see, I've laid down the washi using the five millimeter from the Simply Gilded with that rose gold star um, design and also this pink and white and the yellow and gold the 10 millimeter and the 25 millimeter washi laid them out on the pages and hint hint if you can't tell the reason i use pink and yellow is because i'm going to be using a printable from my shop on etsy if you're not aware i have begun selling printables i will link the video here so that you can see the video that i did showing all of the new listings and trust me i'm in the works of doing a lot more so i'm using this lit this um principle and it's called strength and it has quite a few verses that deal with strength the joy of the lord is my strength and it has a lot of um words pertaining to strength well strength power i am strong in the lord and it's just power packed with a bunch of images so i may not be able to use all of this and i know i'm not going to be able to use all of this in this week's layout but i'm going to save some of them well, prim primarily the the bigger pieces and i'm going to use them in a bible journaling um in my illustrate F illustrated faith bible later this week so look for that video and I've already cut out, like you can see this flower and put it up here in this top corner, just wanting to see how it would look and it looks beautiful. So I'm going to cut out these pieces and I'm going to, the pieces that I need to use, and I'm going to put them in this layout. Um, and I'm also going to link the Etsy shop below where these digitals are located. I also have a separate shop on my own website where you can find other things that are um, actually a purchase and ship option. So just wanted to get that out the way. And like I said, you're going to want to stay tuned through the video to see how um, I'm going to do the layout, not just the layout, but also here what I want to share with you from the Bible study. I'm also going to probably be pulling the dates and holidays books so that I can put down the dates. I'm going to use the scripts that I usually make for myself to, to label Monday through Sunday. And I'll probably be using other stickers, maybe from the Faith Warrior or the Agenda 52 Faith book. So without prolonging this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to speed up the portion where I'm going to decorate. I'm going to share what I learned from the Bible study, and then I'll come back and chat with you at the end. I'm going to cut these out and then I will continue filming showing that layout process. So stick around. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started with 
um, the layout. I'm not going to talk through what I'm doing. It's clear on the screen for you to see what I'm doing. I'm just using actually one sheet of the printable and I guess I'll save the other one for uh, the Bible journaling. But anyway, what I learned from last week's Bible study for Job was God was testing him. God did not inflict the anguish and the pain and the loss that he went through. But he said, the devil came and asked God, you know, let me do this thing because I guarantee you that if I put all these things on him, he's going to curse you. He only praises you because you give him all this stuff. So God said, okay, go ahead. So he's in the midst of this and he has three friends that come to see him in his time of anguish. And what I pulled from that is that his friends initially came and Job was quiet and they sat quietly with him. But let me tell you something, friends. I don't want friends who are going to come in my time of anguish and need and sit quietly with me while I mope and have a pity party. You better come with the word. You better come with encouragement. You better come ready to lift me up out of that dark place. And that's the type of friends that we need, that when we're in a dark place, they come with the word of God. They pray for me. You may cry with me, but it, let that pass. And then you get into prayer and you lift me up. You fight for me in prayer. You encourage me because what Job's friends did were trying to say to him, you must have did something for God to, to do this to you. And then Job in turn tried to defend himself and say, I didn't do anything. I'm perfect. I walk perfect in God's sight. I didn't do anything. You know, he's God almighty. He can do whatever he wants. But for some reason, he refuses to hear my cry right now. And God is sitting down, listening to all of this back and forth between him and his friends. And his friends are insistent that you must have sinned in some kind of way. That's why this is coming on you. Those aren't really friends. Those are not true friends. Because if you don't know me as a friend to know that I haven't sinned, and then to come and assume that I must have sinned in some kind of a way, that's why I've lost my children, I've lost my property, all my cattle is dead, and I'm afflicted with sickness? You're not a friend. Job should have chased them, he should, but he let them bait him into a defense of himself. And he sat there and he defended himself. He even told God, it would have, would have been better if you had not have even allowed me to be born. Why didn't you just let me die in my mother's womb? That's what he asked God. He said, why let me go through all of this? You know, you bless me with all of this and then now I have to go through this. He acknowledged God's sovereignty, but at the same time, he decided to have a pity party. He decided to, you know, be kind of prideful. He was prideful because he said, I'm blameless. I didn't do anything to cause this. Even if you didn't do anything, I would have said, God, I don't know what I've done, but I beg for your forgiveness. I beg for your mercies. I thank you because you are God almighty. You know everything. You know the beginning from the end. You know the end from the beginning, excuse me. And you know all things. You are all powerful. You created the heaven and the earth and everything. God, I can't, I can't begin to fathom your greatness. But if you've allowed this to come on me, then I know you've done it for a reason. And I know that you are a good God and that you will deliver me. But he didn't sit and do those things. He sat there and he uh, tried to justify his own innocence in this. I'm not with sin and I'm trying to call out to God and he not answering me. Oh, really? You weren't doing right. He didn't curse God like the devil told God that he would. He never cursed God because even when his wife came to him, his wife said, you still over there praying to God. Look at all that, the, the stuff going on in our life and what we're going through. Why don't you just curse God and die? He refused to. He didn't curse God. But at the same time, he was trying to justify his innocence instead of taking that time to praise God, even in the midst of the hell that he was going through at that moment. And then he allowed his friends to come and bring to him unholy counsel, unwise counsel, foolish counsel trying to lay blame on him. Those aren't friends. And then Elihu was an older, wiser man, and he heard all of them, and he had to tell them. He said, God is sovereign. He said, how dare you sit here and talk like that? 
You're trying to prove your innocence. You're over here trying to prove him of sin. And he tried to bring, cor tried to correct them. Elihu was the voice of reason in the midst of all of this. So what kind of friends did Job have come, come to him? I would have told those friends right away, please leave. If you didn't come to pray with me, to fight with me, and intercede with me, then I need you to leave. Don't come and lay blame on me. It was just rude of them. That was just evil counsel. I'm just going to say it was evil counsel. And those are the friends that we don't want. We want the friends to come and lift us up, help us to get past the situation, get through the situation, and to help strengthen us spiritually. And those were not the friends that were surrounding Job at that time. They came and they sat in silence with him. So they allowed the devil to come and minister and put, put his voice in their head instead of using the word of God to just repel the words of the enemy. And that is the word that I wanted to share with you guys today. We have to pick and choose those who are going to hold us, uphold us and strengthen us and help us to get through whatever situation that we're facing. And I've come to the end of this. I'm going to chat with you now about the layout. Okay, I am all done with my layout and I hope you enjoyed um, what I shared from my Bible study. It was powerful and I've read Job before, but I just got so much more um, going through the story again. So I hope you um, take away from something that I've said and it's helped you in some kind of a way. But this is the layout. And I love how it turned out. Like I own, as you can see, I only used one of the sheets from the printable. I still have a quite a bit of it left that I can use in the Bible journal, which I will do later on this week. I've got the tabs, I've got the washi strips, I've got a few of the um, strength quotes. Um, this ombre um, full box, uh, well, box here. And I've got the florals and this beautiful heart with the doll. Her name is Joy. So I've got all this that I can use. And I love these little um, like checklists that I made. And I made the checklists and they actually are made from the actual flower. So I don't know if I can use them in the Bible journaling. Maybe I can use them in my scripture writing journal. But I've got quite a bit left. And I did use quite a bit of it in here. As you can see, this is the paid for my extra notes. I was able to use one of those ombre boxes and to indicate Bible study there. I put key verse over this little watermark and I will put the key verse in there. I've got Joy, the smaller doll over here and I infuse the pages with the florals and the leaves. Um, try to distribute it evenly and create balance on the pages and I use these little shapes to um, mark down the chapters that I'm reading for the day. So that worked out just great. And I just used some of those um, strength quotes here and there. So I used one there. And yeah, this came out great. I love how this turned out. It's going to be beautiful to look at day by day as I go in and meditate on the word and um, do my Bible studying. And I hope you enjoyed it as well. So if you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also comment below. Let me know what you're doing in your Bible journal, how you set up your Bible study journal, um, if you're using stickers, printables, whatever. Also, don't forget to check out the shop for the printables and also the website for anything you may want to purchase on order. Um, also, if you're not already subscribed, I hope you consider hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell below. That way you don't miss any future videos, especially the Bible journaling video that I'm going to put out this week. You don't want to miss that because I'm going to use up the rest of this sheet and show you how I use it in the Illustrated Faith Bible. So with that said, I appreciate every one of you for joining me on another um, setup of my layout for my Bible study journal. Um, hope you guys have a blessed week. I appreciate every single one of you. Be blessed. Bye-bye.